locally tonight with our election coverage by speaking with state senator and incumbent Lisa Tondo to hear why she thinks she should be reelected. Crystal. Senator Lisa Tono has been in office for eight years. As she runs for re-election, she says she's still pushing for issues she's been fighting for since she first ran for office. Born and raised in Yuma, Senator Lisa Tondo still calls the Desert Southwest home. Otondo dove headfirst into politics early on, studying international policy in the U.S. as well as France and Spain. A woman of many talents, speaking five different languages, even being part of the Yuma public school system. A main reason why she says she's on the education forefront now. Especially seeing it from the perspective of a teacher actually working in the classroom um, and seeing how school district struggle. Recently, Atondo says she's worked on eliminating the digital divide between rural and tribal communities and investing in broadband connections. Important, especially now as schools temporarily move to virtual learning during the pandemic. And as someone from Yuma, agriculture and water has always been a top priority. Water is a full time job. And I started an educational learning luncheon for water issues at the Capitol, for legislators. These issues are critical. They're critical to the state. It's critical to my district. And that is an area that is very, very time consuming. While she continues to fight for education, agriculture, and water rights, she still attends to the needs of her constituents, saying no problem is too small. But even an issue so simple, um, like I lost my driver's license and I can't get a hold of <laughs> you know, I can't get in to get my uh, ID and I want to vote. Senator Atondo hopes to be reelected so she can continue to work for her people and represent the Yuma community. There has been no disconnect for the work that I'm still doing at the legislature that is uh, really intense right now. I know a lot of people may not see legislators in front of them, but there's a lot of work going on. For more on political candidates running in Arizona, head over to KYMA.com and look for the Decision 2020 page. Reporting in Yuma, Crystal Jimenez, News 11. Crystal, thanks. And this evening, Yuma County Sheriff candidate Mark Martinez is holding an event to